Hello guys and welcome to Rich Rich Big Karasi Jungle Guide. This is a mini game that is exclusive to Runex or SPS as far as I know. And guys, it is awesome and you can make a ton of money if you know what you're doing in here. So I'll just quickly explain explain to you what the Karasi Jungle is, guys. Uh, and I will apologize from the beginning um, that I am in full screen. But this is just how it's easiest for me to uh, navigate around this jungle. So yeah, guys, uh, it will be like that for this video. I hope you can, uh, I hope you can uh, accept that. So yeah, but guys, when you get in here, uh, the first ten minutes you are uh, safe from other PKs. Uh, this is a PK mini game, uh, so use those ten minutes uh, well. Yeah. Uh, you will find these closed caskets around the uh, map where you are guys uh, and they contain a lot of different items you can uh, get armor and you can get uh, teleports and uh, a lot of uh, good stuff from those so be uh, be sure to find all the closed caskets that you can as much uh, as fast as you can as as many as you can guys because this is where you get the most of your gear from um and as you can see uh, while I'm uh, talking to you, I am killing uh, monsters around uh, the, the map too, guys. And these monsters, they drop a lot of different things too. So, don't just open the chest, guys. Kill some of the monsters too. They will help you uh, get around the game. So, yeah. But the basic of it, guys, is pretty much killing monsters, gearing up, and uh, killing other people's opening chests. So, there's not much to it, guys. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, one more, one last thing before I cut to the next clip, guys. The Karasu tokens that you see I'm picking up for the future, uh, for the future, who, uh, for you, those who, uh, those of you who see this uh, in a couple of weeks, guys, these will no longer be here. These are a part of a event that is running right now in February. So, yeah, notice that you will not get those, guys. But. Yeah, I will come back to you in the next clip explaining uh, about the boss and uh, how to get to the boss, guys. So, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so when you feel you are ready to kill the boss, um, you will go to the shore of the, the water right here and you will find a boat, guys. This is one way to get to the jungle demon. You can also get these teleport taps. Um, so... The red one will teleport you right to the demon, so be prepared to fight the demon when you use the teleport tap, guys. Uh, I recommend for you to use the uh, full granite and the uh, karambi gloves. If you are lucky enough, you can get a Karam uh, Karasi spear uh, from the jungle titans that you find around the minimap. Um, uh, some uh, a glory and uh, yeah, guys, just get the best gear that you feel. I recommend you to have a lot of range uh, defense, so yeah, but you will go to uh, this boat or you will use the tilt tap guys, as any, as, and as you can see there is one killing the boss right now, so I'll just leave him for, just leave it to him killing it, but this is the boss guys, and it will have uh, two different uh, attack styles, it will attack you with um, range, like the tornado you just saw there, and it will attack you with mage. I normally just pray mage guys because you can get a pretty high range attack in here um, so don't worry a lot about the range attacks you can just tank him through them with uh, some food guys and if you have the right armor he won't kill uh, he won't kill you if you just have a, a inventory of food um, another thing to recommend when you're killing this boss guys is to bring some uh, strength potions or a super combat potion guys this will uh, make it a lot easier to kill this boss uh, and teaming up with a friend will also make this a lot easier so yeah guys uh, this is just for the boss uh, I will uh, show you the Sierra village in a moment and how the bank uh, system work in Karasi jungle so yeah see you when I find the bank okay guys so I just decided that we are gonna wait uh, uh, to the next clip for the banking system on the in the jungle guys cuz when we are on this island where you find the drunk, uh, the jungle demon after you traveled with the boat there is this cave too guys i just want to show you real quick when you go down here you can find uh, jungle dragons and you can find titans uh, a lot of jungle titans and other uh, quite nice monsters so 
and uh, yeah you just click in the middle of the island that you go to for the jungle demon there is a hole just go down the hole guys and you will end up in uh, this cave uh, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys to get up from the cave again you just go back to where you got down and you can climb up this uh, pillar that is right here and you are back again so yeah i'll be back with you guys when i am at zero village uh, just to show you the banking system Okay, so I am just outside the entrance way to uh, Sierra Village, and uh, guys, you have to talk to this guy. I am uh, pretty much all the way uh, east, north, south, west, east. I think I'm east, guys. I am about this way <laughs> of the of the map. So yeah, it is north, south. It is west, guys. West, not east. My bad. You go almost uh, west of the map, guys, and you can find this guy if you go uh, a little north. And you pay him 20 trading sticks, guys, these things. And you will end up here uh, in the Sierra Village town. And in here, guys, there's actually a safe zone from the PKs. As mentioned earlier in this video, this is a PK minigame, guys, so there will be people trying to kill you. So use the first 10 minutes of the uh, minigame you are safe in those 10 minutes unless you attack anybody else but if you go through this door guys you can pay to 25 trading wait trading sticks and you'll be safe for five minutes guys uh, you can see here you have a banking countdown uh, right here so yeah but these green things that you find around the, uh, the map guys they are on pretty much everywhere they are a bank and you can get up to 15 slots in the in the bank guys so yeah that's pretty nice you can bank everything that you do not want to lose um so yeah when you're done with the mini game i recommend you to put in the gear that you use instead of checking it out the uh, outside the mini game because it's a lot more worth inside the mini game so just keep it in here guys get the 15 uh, bank slots and you will be good to go as you can see i am uh, putting in my karasa tokens my blood money some food for next time and uh, some trading sticks to get some karasa gloves when i'm in here and when i'm done guys i will take out things that i don't need in there and i will put in my granite armor and my helm my ring stuff like that guys uh so yeah this is how my bank look like you can put up your bank just like you want it guys uh, another cool future here is that you can use the uh, furniture and the uh, anvil and there is also a slayer master guys uh, somewhere around here i think he's on the other side of the lake so but yeah yeah you can see he's there uh, jungle slayer master guys and he will actually pr uh, actually provide you with the uh, trading sticks for each um slayer task that you get in the jungle so just for the fun of it, I will go uh, get a Slayer task right now, guys. So I'll be back with you when we have one. So yeah, guys. As you can see, we're at the Slayer Master now. And it costs 25, tr uh, 25 trading sticks to get in here, guys. And he sells some uh, items in his uh, store. This is uh, a offhand that you can get that protects you uh, against Venom and shit, guys. So yeah, that's pretty nice. But yeah, let's just get into it and see what task we can get oh i have a couple of beast tasks guys i'll just put this down uh so yeah i got 19 jungle titans guys that's pretty awful that's gonna take me a lot of time guys sorry that was just my mobile but yeah uh no matter what i'm gonna try to do it guys i'll just kill this guy be back with you when i'm done okay so i just killed this guy guys and it is a uh it is a uh, PvP uh, mini game, guys. So be aware that people will kill you in here because it gives a lot of blood money and other things. Uh, and as you can see, I just got a lot of his items. Uh, he had no chance to bank because I just used my small spec on him. He had no prey left. So, guys, be aware that you have uh, time to, uh, yeah, get away from other PKs. That you have some leftover foods always in your inventory and that you have prayer pots maybe a stamina pot and if you're not already in Sierra village guys a good way to uh, be a little safe is use this uh, have one of these uh, 
taps guys because it will tap you right outside the bank right here and you could go in for 25 trading sticks and you will actually be safe for pks for five minutes so yeah that's pretty cool guys uh the last thing i will show you guys is uh, another cave there is in this jungle so i'll just head over there and i'll be back with you when i'm there just to show you this guys this is all uh, also a pretty important thing uh, i think if you have noted food you can or any other noted item you can uh, use it on uh, these guys uh, you will find them next to a bank and a prayer totem so and if you do some uh, use uh, noted things on him you can actually unnote them guys it will cost you one blood, blood money for each unnote you want to do and you can also do it the other way guys so you can use items that are not noted on him and it will cost you one trading stick to note an item guys so yeah this is pretty helpful always have a lot of food in your uh, inventory noted and some blood money so you can go and uh, unnote items if you're getting uh, attacked guys yeah just just wanted to let you know guys i'll head over to the cave now so guys we are at the cave right now and in the middle of the map you will find this entrance to the cave if you go in there guys you will uh, have a a lot of uh, monsters that are not outside of this cave and they can drop uh, some rune items and other pretty good stuff guys so check the drop table for each monster in here and be aware that you don't go near this skeleton uh, wavens without a dragon fire shield guys because they will hit you pretty hard so i will i won't go in there guys because i have no shield right now i'm using a two-hand weapon but uh, make sure to check out the cave too guys and uh, one last thing i also want to show you guys i just found him on the way over to the cave there's a jungle titan right here guys they are hot as fuck to kill guys but uh yeah just notice that if uh, you pray melee uh all the time you will take some mage damage but when he do this purple uh animation over his head you can pray mage like there right there guys uh so yeah check out the drop table for each one of the guys uh, these are actually some of those who drop uh the best items uh of course the jungle demon the boss that i showed you on the island is dropping the absolute best items he can drop a sun spear but uh don't just go f uh, just don't just go around these guys because they will drop uh, some pretty nice items they can drop karasi gear as far as i know so uh, yeah i'll be back to you when i just kill this one so i just finished up killing the titan as you can see the rest of the loot are there i got uh, nothing especially good guys so yeah but they can uh, they can give pretty nice items guys i'll just check the drop table with you right now just to let you see the jungle titans right there guys if you go down here and the drop rate is not bad at all guys it's 1 to uh, 66 so yeah, definitely go kill them. They are also the best way to get a Karasi spear if you want one of those guys. They have two uh, rolls to get one, and uh, one in thirteen are not much guys. So yeah, go uh, gear up, guys. The best way to do that is through the chests or killing monsters. Uh, kill the boss for the daily guys. The uh, boss inside the this mini game is actually a daily quest which gives a lot of rewards guys this pack of riches can uh, contain a lot of money so uh, don't be afraid to go in and try it out guys it's also if you are a hardcore iron man it is uh, safe to uh, do this mini game you will not lose your status uh, if you die in here so yeah there's really no need to be uh, worried about going in here and trying it out guys really no worries at all i see another dude right there let's just follow him and uh, kill him yeah i will be back with you uh, if i find some more to uh, show you guys or when i have killed this uh, dude so, yeah okay so this guy just got mad as hell because i killed him guys and i don't feel that there is anything that you should get mad over guys because this is a pvp mini game so don't get mad at people who kill you guys it is a part of the mini game and they do it because they need the uh, the rewards that they get from it and i i know some of you guys might not be the best pks and 
I am definitely not a good PKer, guys. But I I do this because I want the blood money, and I'm gonna show you right uh, now in the next clip um, the shop where you can get items for the blood money. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll be back with you in a second when I've looted this guy and found the shop, guys. Okay, I just want to show you this real quick, guys. There's a lot of people getting mad because they're getting PK'd in the Crossy Jungle, and I really don't get why, because this is a PK minigame, so don't fucking whine about getting killed by people who are better than you. But to all you guys who are not as, uh, not as good PKers as, uh, as uh, some other people are, you will uh, you'll just need this, one, uh, this teletap, guys. If you have one of these uh, Shiro Village Teletaps and you have 25 trading sticks, you are pretty much safe from any PKer. Because if you're getting attacked by anyone or anything, you just click the Teletap, guys. You will be teleported right next to the safe bank. You can go in the safe bank, guys, for 25 sticks and boom, he cannot kill you anymore. And you have actually a bank in here, so you can also bank all your items before the 5 minutes cooldown is over, guys. So, you won't lose anything if you just do this method. Uh, of course, he can teleport right after you, but he will not be able to kill you while you're inside this bank. So, guys, if you are getting uh, teleported, uh, if you are getting PK'd, I mean... Just teleport with a teletap and the 25 trading sticks. Just keep that in your inventory uh, in, uh, for all times and you'll be good to go. So, yeah. I just wanted to let you know that, guys. Okay, guys. So, I just found the shop. The shop is this ghost guy. He is right next to the cave. Uh, pretty much in the center of uh, the minigame to the north. So, uh, when you speak to this guy, you can uh, use your blood money, guys. And that is why it is so... Uh, profitable to kill all the peoples in this minigame. You can get the Karasi armor, guys, in the shop. You can also get a lot of other items in here. You can get the Cursed Casket for a thousand blood money, uh, which you can actually get some... Uh, I think it's about five, 5,000 blood money from. So, uh, it could be worth it. Uh, I have never tried it, guys, but you can go ahead if you want. You can also get Cursed Caskets from uh, the chest that you loot around the minimap. So, yeah. I don't know if this one is for the event right now, guys, but uh, you can get these jungle caskets, and if you ho uh, hover over with your mouse, you can see uh, what you can get from them, guys. So, this is basically uh, it, guys. Just a quick tip for you uh, before I am off, guys, is when you are done with the Karazi minigame, uh, don't just teleport out, bank all the items you want and take the items that you want uh, uh, that you want to have with you. Then go out. Let all your blood money stay inside the bank, guys. Then wait half an hour, then you can teleport into the minigame again. And now you will actually be safe, just like this dude. You can see I cannot, uh, I can attack him, but I cannot uh, give him any damage. And you'll have 10 minutes to go up to the shop, guys. Take, your, take the blood money from your bank. Go to the shop and uh, actually buy what you want and teleport out again without you uh, being afraid of PKOs or anything else. So you will be safe with all that money in your bank, uh, in your inventory, guys. And that is uh, that is a pretty good tip to know, guys. Uh, this will actually maybe save you from getting PK'd when you're trying to uh, bank your stuff. As you can see, I'm just killing this dude right now. But yeah, guys. This is uh, all I got from the Karasi minigame. I hope you enjoyed this guide. And if you do, guys, don't forget to uh, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Episode 6 of my uh, episode to uh, Tebow, uh, my road to Tebow, episode 6 is out uh, very soon, guys. And you, uh, you should watch it. I have some pretty nice content for uh, the episode 6, some uh, new money guide that I uh, actually stumbled into for a couple of days ago. So... Yeah, guys, stay tuned for that. See you in the next one.